nice looking Thursday here in Central and Eastern Kentucky. Despite a little bit of haze and smoke from those Eastern Canada wildfires still drifting into the area and it will be a touch on the hazy side closing out the week on Friday. Now dry and warm much of the weekend. So that's always a bonus when we can do that during our summer weekends with school being out. A lot going on should be in good shape. Our best rain chance is really holding off until Sunday night and into the day on Monday. Uh, we continue to talk about the haze and the smoke really plaguing the northeast. Uh, remember, with our weather systems and our upper level winds in general, they go west to east. So in a typical setup, the smoke from the Eastern Quebec wildfires would just be blown out into the Atlantic and dissipate and we wouldn't have any issue at all. But the problem is it's this low setting over New England coupled with a high over the Western Great Lakes. So the old squeeze play is still see New York City not as bad as yesterday, but still problematic and into the day tomorrow that will actually shift a little farther west and south. So the mid Atlantic and in the central and northern part of the Ohio Valley, we'll see a little bit of it. And again, our air quality issue is kind of a cumulative effect uh, from that being around over the last few days. I think by the weekend, we're going to be in much better shape. Max HD radar and satellite, a few little scattered clouds beyond the haze. You can see it here with our Bluegrass Pace Care Skyview HD camera network in Richmond. Unlike a couple of days ago, you can actually see the foothills looking to the southeast, but the haze is still there. 75 comfortable temperatures this afternoon, low to mid 70s in most locations, even out to the west where it has been a little bit on the toasty side with highs around 90. They're only low and mid 80s, and that's in the wake of that boundary, which is stalled out to our south high pressure taking over. There's a northeast wind, but we should see a bit of a shift in the pattern by the upcoming weekend. It's evening into tomorrow, no issues. In fact, similar to this morning, we were right around 50. We're talking upper 40s and low 50s, so a little coolish in the morning. Won't have the fog problems we had this morning, especially south of Lexington. And even with a little hazy sunshine, upper 70s to right around 80 here in the bluegrass. Now we begin to change the pattern up into the weekend. Notice that low finally exiting the area. High pressure moves to our east, so we catch that return flow. So at least the surface wind will be blowing out of the south, and that should help to dissipate some of the haze and the smoke. And then that next storm system rolls in here. Saturday is our best day, just ideal from start to finish with the later arrival of the storm chances. Still think we're going to be warm on Sunday with low to mid 80s. And you notice Monday, some very beneficial rain on the way. It's been dry. Decent rain tomorrow, and as we get into Tuesday, that boundary down to the south, we could see at least a few isolated cells into the mid part of next week, and that's important because the latest drought monitor out today in tan, including Lexington and curving down into southern Kentucky, that's the moderate drought surrounded in yellow by the abnormally dry uh, D0 ranking. Now keep in mind, the readings taken on Tuesday and then it comes out on Thursday. So the rain yesterday not included in this and we'll have some additional rain on Monday. So next week, hopefully things will improve. Mostly clear, quiet tonight, about 49 in the morning, but we bounce back to around 80, mostly sunny, warm. Still have that bit of haze in the area, less on Saturday. Overall, the weekend looks pretty good farther west of Lexington. Better chance you'll see a shower or a storm through the late afternoon on Sunday. Clouds, storms, rain around on Monday holds our temperatures in check, and then we're back up to around 80 or so by the middle part of next week.